Good morning. I'm here this morning to say thank you. Thanks to each of you for listening over these last 10 weeks as we have laid out the capital ca campaign um, and for the future of our church. As a church member and as a member of the school, it, um, it makes me feel so good to be part of something that has been brought together and our relationship has just blossomed over these last 10 weeks as school and church have become more connected. We've never had as many people participate in a capital campaign by this point. Um, if you think about six different vestries and school boards have all been a part of this. In addition, we've had a master planning group years ago who set out to say this is what we need to do. We've had an executive committee from the campaign, a campaign steering committee, multiple small group sessions to talk to individuals about the campaign. So we're so excited to be here this morning on Pledge Day to share with you where we are right now and where we need, and hopefully where we will be in just a few weeks. One of the things I wanted to say too, which I think is really important as we talk about church and school being connected, I was so proud of our faculty and staff this past week who at this point in the campaign are already at over 80% committed to the campaign. So I think that's just fabulous out of our over 40 staff members that they are committed to the campaign as well. So as we talk about our collective future of church and school, we've asked Bill Chenor to say just a few words and to share with you where we are in the campaign. I'm glad Stacy introduced me because I didn't want anybody to think I was Stacy Urban. <laughs> um, when I was asked to say something, when I was asked Friday to say something today um, from Ben and Stacy, uh, I thought it was some sort of a April's Fool's joke. But uh, unequivocally, being up here today and being at the 8 o'clock this morning after watching the basketball game last night, uh, it was, this is not a joke. Um, first of all, I want to say that I feel so blessed to be able to step up here today and open my heart up to you all. As a vestry member for the prior three years, first as junior warden and then the last two as senior warden, um, I've had the privilege to work with and to become close friends with some of the most talented and creative and hardworking and loving and incredibly giving people. I cannot begin to, to list everyone, but I just, as we went through the permitting process for, for the construction, um, we went through the town council, planning commission, ARB, and worked with the staff. And as I went, just when we went through that process, I didn't realize this at the time, I probably should have, but there are four members of the town council, including the mayor. There are, there's one incredibly talented planning commissioner, um, three members of the architecture review board, and four members of the town staff, uh, including the town manager, who are parishioners uh, here at St. James. I think that's a pretty incredible start to, to, to understanding the the magnitude and the, the tip of the iceberg of all the people um, who you know, give their time to uh, making Warrenton a much better place, to make it, being deeply committed to making a difference, to making a commun community that gives back, that looks out for its neighbors and its friends and its visitors and children and those less fortunate who are greatly are grateful for their, their many blessings and are willing to give those blessings back to the benefit of all. And I consider myself a very thankful individual to be among you as a brother because St. James is a beacon for the Warrenton community, the surrounding region, uh, and beyond and uh, I'm just so thankful to be a part of it. Secondly, 
Uh, I want to thank everyone uh, who has and today will um, pledge to this campaign. It is the most ambitious undertaking that St. James has taken on in the last 50 years. We are all connected to an endeavor that truly is a milestone in the long history of this church. There aren't many around who can remember the excitement and pride that the prisoners experienced when the educational wing was completed in 1966. In fact, there's only one member that's left who can recall the devastation and disbelief of the catastrophic, catastrophic fire in 1910, and that's Niney Lang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but, but what we are embarking on uh, is a springboard that will ensure that this church remains a vibrant messenger of community pride and community spirit and love for the next 50 years and beyond. And my only regret is that I don't have access to the expense account credit card so that I might invite everyone here after church today so that we can celebrate over at the Warthog Brewery <laughs> and propose a toast to all of us for a job well done and to toast for the hope of a successful construction completion in the fall of 2018. So what I want to do today is invite all those with numbers um, to step forward. absolutely astounding and by far the most money this church has ever raised. It represents 84 and a quarter percent of our goal, uh, but we still have a ways to go and since Bill just cost us one pledge, uh, we need to collectively chip in and make up for 90s. Well, it's going to be huge. It's going to be an enormous pledge. Absolutely. So Bill will cover half of it. Uh, but we do have $353,385 to go to reach our campaign goal. Now remember, our campaign goal was established by our feasibility study. Uh, it does not represent the total cost of construction. That will uh, exceed that. So we really, really want to meet that goal and, and move well past that goal. And that's going to take all of us digging in uh, as deeply as we are able. Uh, so what I would love for you to do uh, is to take out that pledge card uh, and in a minute or so, uh, Jesse is going to play some music. And uh, if you're prepared to make your pledge, uh, please fill it out while you listen to the beautiful music. Uh, if you are visiting the church or you've already uh, uh, made your pledge or you're not able to, to make your pledge at this moment, uh, just take a deep breath and let the music wash over you. Uh, 
If you're not going to fill out your pledge card, uh, but you happen to know somebody whose life has been touched by St. James in a way that may not get a pledge card, consider taking your pledge card and, and giving it to them. Uh, and uh, if you don't do that, if you just leave it in your pew, uh, we'll collect them and, 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 and put them to use for those that weren't able to be here today. Uh, and I invite you, as you fill out the pledge card, uh, to look not just at the pledge, which gives you the opportunity to make your pledge and uh, identify how you pay, pan, uh, plan to pay it, whether it's uh, monthly or weekly or uh, annually or in one-time payment or stock, uh, but also look at the opportunity to make a planned gift. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the campaign, uh, as successful as it is, uh, is unlikely to pay for the full cost of the project. And uh, to make sure uh, that we set the future uh, in good stead, uh, we have another goal, which is to raise half a million dollars uh, towards our endowment. Uh, and to that goal, we're already at 355000 uh, in planned gifts. Uh, but if you'd be willing to be contacted or um, you've already made uh, plans in your will or your estate uh, for a planned gift to St. James, uh, please check that box so that we can uh, identify that and add that to the total. Uh, that will allow us uh, to go forward with, uh, with knowledge that we are uh, not just preparing for today, but making sure uh, that we've set a, a sure foundation for tomorrow as well. So uh, please realize what an incredible moment this is in the life of St. James. Uh, as we ce celebrated 200 years and uh, Richard has taken us through that history, uh, this moment, April 2nd, 2017, uh, will be one of the moments uh, that the uh, Richard Gukins and generations to come will look back on and say, uh, that is a moment that transformed the life of the church. That is a moment uh, that we get to stand on the shoulders of those giants uh, who made possible uh, the space that we, we worship in, the space that we learn in, uh, the space that's now accessible uh, to, to, to people uh, regardless of uh, physical limitation. Uh, the decisions that you make in the next hour uh, and in the months to come uh, will shape the future of St. James. And what an awesome uh, a privilege to be part of it. Thank you.